Hi, you're watching WND TV. I'm Michael Thompson here in Music City, USA, Nashville, Tennessee, at the National Religious Broadcasters 2015 convention. And I have the great privilege of being with Ken Ham, a man who needs no introduction. How are you today, sir? I'm doing very well, thank you. Ken is uh, one of the most in demand Christian speakers in all of America. He's the co founder and president of Answers in Genesis. He's also the visionary behind the popular Creation Museum. A million people visit it each year from around the world. And uh, more importantly, he's uh, the brainchild of the, uh, behind the upcoming Ark Encounters. He's the author of numerous books on Genesis, dinosaurs, threats to the church, effective cultural outreach, and the destructive fruits of evolutionary thinking. You probably saw him in his highly publicized and televised debate with Bill, the so-called science guy, Nye, last year. Is that a good introduction? <laughs> well, sure. Uh, actually, you know, the Bill Nye debate is interesting because uh, about 15 million people have now seen that debate and so it's had a great impact around the world we've had a lot of great feedback and one of the things it really did was to open up conversations there were many people who said that their atheist friends wouldn't even talk about issues of the Bible or creation evolution but because of the Bill Nye debate it opened up a conversation for them to be able to do that and so I just praise the Lord for the effect that it's had well can't tell me is there hope that we're gonna to get to see a round two of a debate well, you know, what's interesting is many of the secularists were really upset with Bill Nye for debating me. And one of the reasons is because they say it gives creationists a platform. One of the things that I've noticed in, in the last few years is that the secularists do not want people to hear the information that we have. They basically censored that information from the students in the public schools. Uh, they, they basically censor it from the television programs. Uh, they don't allow someone to publish in the secular journals if they find out they're a biblical creation. They're trying to censor that information so they don't want to debate creationists because then people get to hear the problems with evolution and the fact that real science, observational science, actually confirms uh, the Bible's account of creation. They don't want people to hear the gospel. They don't want them to hear the word of God. So I'm very doubtful there'll be a, another such debate because there was so much flack over Bill Nye actually debating me because it did allow millions of people to hear information uh, that they previously would not have heard. And so, you know, it, it's interesting. We're in a real worldview battle.